Yo, 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 what is up, gang? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I actually got a phone call from a detective in my city regarding Project Zorgo. They called me out of nowhere and they started asking me a bunch of questions about Project Zorgo. I didn't expect this phone call whatsoever, but I'm really glad that they called. But pretty much, if you guys haven't been following along, we are less than two weeks away from the doomsday day set by a group of hackers called Project Zorgo. And guys, they have been doing this for a long time. They have threatened YouTubers, they have done all sorts of crimes, and day by day, they're preparing to take down YouTube. After I filed the police report in my last video, and I got the anonymous tip about the location of the members of Project Zorgo, everything happened so quickly, and ever since I filed the report, everything is turning into real life. I feel like at this point, we will succeed based on the conversation with a police officer. Now, I actually recorded the conversation right away, so I'm gonna play it right now. I want you all to listen carefully to what the detective was telling me. Basically, this is details between me and him, and you guys were not supposed to know about it. But because but because I love all of you guys, I'm gonna let you guys know about it and record it for all of you. So yeah, before I actually show you the clip, please smash the like button if you hate Project Zorgo. And you haven't subscribed, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe right now to be a certified savage today. Everybody in their might is trying to stop Project Zorgo. But I've noticed that nobody on the platform ever called any cops. No one got police involved. Whether whether they didn't want to snitch or anything, guys, I'm looking out for the platform and I'm looking out for what's right. So so Project Zorgo members, if you guys are watching this, your days are numbered. None of these guys, I'm about to show you the phone call right now, and then there's gonna be shout-outs at the end of the video after that. Because I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna do that every day. You guys seem to love the shout-out, but it is really important that you guys listen to the conversation so you guys know what the police are planning against Project Zorgo. Here is the phone call. Good evening. This is Detective Nick calling for the auto police department. I'd like to speak to Basil. Uh, hi, th this is me. This is Basil? Yes, sir. Alright, Basil. The reason for this call is to address the police report you have filed. I've done assigned the case. Oh, yes. Um, I, I actually filed it uh, maybe a couple of days ago. I'm glad to get a hold of you. Okay, I read the report, but I'm slightly confused about who you're reporting. You filed it against Project Zorgo? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I filed it against Project Zorgo because it's not really a person. It's more like, like an organization. It's a group. Um, they have like a head leader, and well, yeah, I think you've read the report. They've been like literally threatening everyone and stuff. And it's not just one person. It's like it's pretty. It's like an entity. Yes, I've heard it, but I see, uh, what exactly did they do? What exactly did they do? Yes. Uh, well, they did a lot of things, um, first of all, they started with, they've done anything possible. It actually all started with them, um, threatening to hack everybody on YouTube because apparently they didn't like it. And, well, ever since then, they, I'm pretty sure there were many instances where they, they basically broke they kidnap people, they <laughs> breaking and entering, um, they've committed identity fraud, like they've done so many things and like there's not really one thing to focus on. I think you just need to like go on YouTube and check out all the evidence for yourself. Unfortunately the evidence on YouTube does not qualify as an existing evidence and this is labeled a high urgency report, why have you not filed it before? I fail to see where we can help or intervene. I mean, these incidents are all occurring online and possibly different countries. No, yeah, uh, yes sir, okay, okay. They, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. They may be in different countries, but I mean, I, I don't see why you guys can't get involved. I mean, they're literally threatening people on YouTube. How can you guys just let this happen? I don't know, sir. I just feel like you guys can do more, um, which is why I filed the police report. Um, but, um, it's you. I don't know, usually, it first started on the internet, sir, but like now they're coming to houses, they're stealing, they're breaking and entering, they're kidnapping. They've done all sort of like crimes. I'm surprised. Uh, like I'm surprised you guys haven't been informed sooner, sir. Like I know, I know. I there are actually big YouTubers on the platform where their accounts were getting hacked, and like you already you already know the story. But I really feel like you need to get involved because. No, if you guys don't get involved, <laughs> they'll win. You guys can search channels like Chad Wild Clay, uh, V Quaint, 
um, there's like some guy, there's actually more YouTubers, someone called Marmar who actually got kidnapped by them, so, and then there's Rebecca Zamolo, uh, I'm literally listing you a bunch of names for you to know, uh, you just need to go to their channels, go to their channels and go to my channel, Bazy TV, and you'll see all the crazy things they've done. Usually in cases like this, we advise you to stay off YouTube or at the internet if you feel a threat. I'm sorry, but I don't think we'll be able to help other than that. You say all this happened online, then transpired to a series of real life incidents? Yes, sir, it did transpire to real life incidents. That, that's, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Considering the severity of the crimes you're accusing them of doing, a full scale investigation must be done, but I highly doubt we'll catch anyone through the internet. The IP address will send us back a location, but it must be within the legal jurisdiction of our country. These individuals are not in your city. Um, well, first of all, I appreciate you saying that you'll do a full-scale investigation. Um, literally everybody on YouTube will love you for that. Um, but I do think you guys can catch them. Because um, basically a couple days ago, I got an anonymous... Hello? <laughs> Well, like a couple days ago, I got an anonymous tip. I literally got an anonymous tip about where their whereabouts could be. Um, apparently, they could they have a location in my city where they establish operations. And this may sound crazy, but I feel like it is true because they have been coming, they've been basically threatening me very easily. And for a group of people on the internet, I mean, how can they like threat people that easily? They don't even have, how do they even know where I am? So, based on the tip I got, I think that they're in my city, but I can't go there alone. It is like way too risky. All you, all, but all you literally need to go do is go there. I'll give you the location, and you bring your force and just go there. Would that be okay, sir? I will list your report as a citation, but just to remind you, the conversation is recorded. We will investigate by. Intentionally wasting police resources is a crime. I'm not, sir, I'm not wasting any police resources. Why Why would I be talking to you for no reason? I wouldn't file a police report for no reason, sir. Like, it's it's urgent and it's happening now. And I don't know what else to do but to turn to you guys. So, like, can you guys please just help me? If you got, I can send you the location and you just go there. If you guys don't find them, then um, I guess you guys can just, like, close the investigation or whatever. But sir, like right now, I just really need your help. I would appreciate it if if you would help me right now. All right, Basil. We will need you to come down to the station to write your story. And afterward, we'll decide what to do from there. If Project Zorgo members are there, we will have them arrested immediately. If Project Zorgo members are in the location, you'll have them arrested immediately? Let's try to do that. Come into the station tomorrow at 4 p.m. and ask for the and ask for Detective Dave. Detective Dave. Okay, sir. So um, all you need to do is just come in tomorrow, and we'll just discuss everything. I'll bring the location with me, and we'll, I guess we'll just see where it goes from there. Uh, I really appreciate all your help, and everybody on YouTube right now would literally love your help right now because day by day they're they're just tormenting everyone. And um, from my point of view, I just find it annoying because we didn't do anything wrong to them. They're just. They're psychopaths. They're actually sociopaths, I think. So, um, if you guys can get them arrested, sir, I, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. But for in the any meantime, would you like me? By the, Sorry. Any evidence left behind by the conspirators? Yeah, uh, yeah. The station who yeah. will attempt to resolve this okay. issue with you. Yes, sir. Um, but like right now, if you don't have like if you're free right now, I'm sure you're busy. But um, to take some time off the case right now, I, I would like uh, I'd like to ask you to go to YouTube and search the channels I told you about and just see for yourself all the evidence is there. You can search search Bazy TV or search like Chad Wild Clay or actually search Project Zorgo on YouTube. Yo, they actually have their own channel and they're basically threatening other YouTubers through that channel. And guess what? YouTube is not doing anything about it. Their channel is still there. Yes, I understand, but we do need evidence to see what they have done to you 
and those other crimes that they have done. Oh, so you want? So okay. If you have any other evidence yeah. that you could bring, it will be definitely helpful. Okay, sir. Um, well, they're all they're all video based, so I can just show you videos which you can do on YouTube. But I guess I'll come in tomorrow and I'll show you. But in the meantime, I really think you should uh, search Project Zorgo on YouTube because you'll find everything. They they they're, they're verbally threatening other YouTubers and they actually listed their names name by name. Okay, and stand. Okay, sir. So tomorrow, okay. 4 p.m. Do not forget. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Have a great night. Thank you, sir. Bye. So this is great news right now. Uh, the police officer just called me and discussed everything. I started recording right away. You guys know that. I honestly feel a bit optimistic. I feel like this is coming more to life. We're more. We're gonna find out more about whether we're gonna arrest Project Zorgo or not. And guys, if we actually get them arrested, it would be a great, great thing for the platform. But you guys remember from my most recent video, I got an anonymous tip about the location of Project Zorgo members. According to that tip, they are somewhere in my city right now where they established operations and I have the location of it. Now I asked all of you whether I should actually go there by myself or someone or something and all of you didn't want me to go by myself. You all advised me to go with police so that's exactly what I'm gonna do guys. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. I'm going to the police station and as as detective said and we're gonna basically go through everything to try to arrest them. So pretty much guys by tomorrow Project Zorgo members could be arrested for the first time. No one even complained about them. They're still on the loose right now. So right now, I'm trying to make that difference, guys. Please smash the like button if you guys support the idea of Project Zorgo members getting arrested. And also, guys, comment down below. Comment down below whether you guys think they will be arrested or not. So now, guys, pretty much if we approach them and we arrest them, we can actually get more information about them. Because when you catch one, one of their members, you can interrogate them and get more information about the whole organization. So all the police need... So all the police need is one member, which we which we will possibly catch tomorrow. Now guys, please comment down below, are you Team Bay Z or are you Team Zorgo? If you're Team Bay Z, you are a legend. Anyways guys, I'm just gonna end the video from here. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash the like button. And guys, please be sure to comment what you guys think will happen with Project Zorgo. Will I succeed or will I fail? Will the police arrest him? Or will Project Zorgo be one step ahead? It's gonna be a full out battle and everybody in this platform, including you, is ready to fight for what's right. Anyways guys, it's your boy BZ. I'll keep you all updated. I'll see you and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Boom, all right guys, I'm in the comment section right now with my video. I'm gonna give everybody a shout out, one a shout out. First of guys, I'm gonna start with Noah Barker, Greek Sawyer, uh, Noah Barker, once again, big shout out to you. Super Saiyan, Remy Mullen, uh, Jamie Parker, Sarah, the 53 year old kid. <laughs> That's a pretty funny name. Big shout out to you. Next up, guys, I'm gonna give a shout out to Taylor Goiten, Remy Mullen, Saeed Warsami, August Inji Salag. Big shout out to you. Next up, guys, I'm gonna give a shout out to Cal Plays, uh, Hiller Jean. Big shout out to you. Renata Savikas. Big shout out to you, Renatas. Next up, guys, I'm gonna give a shout out to Bills. Uh, big shout out to you, bro. Next up, guys, I'm gonna give a shout out to Triona Basin, Dina Renus. Greek Sawyer once again, Gail Hernandez, big shout out to you guys. Next time we get a shout out to JC11 non name. Also guys, I get a shout out to Amir's channel, big shout out to you. Um, Sophie Smith, big shout out to you, Sophie. Uh, next time we guys, I get a shout out to Brandon and Nunez, Jalen Network, uh, Cal Plays, Billy Z once again guys, they keep commenting, they keep making the shout outs. Next time guys, I get a shout out to Stephanie White, JD the Dead Pony Collector, uh, Ashley Smith, OC and Mega Shadow, Chris Gatlin, Samuel Sujuna, Fernando Hernandez, Project Harley Quinn Ninja, and Tasim Begum.